Welcome to Abora Data Systems video tutorial. Using ID Badge Design within Fusion. Once you have created a badge template, you are ready to start designing your badge. To add, edit or delete a badge template, click on Organization from the main toolbar, select Personnel, open up Card Production, and then click on Card Design Templates. Edit an existing badge template by double-clicking on it, and select the Badge Designer tab. By default, the background component is automatically added to the badge when the template is created. The toolbar at the top of the window provides buttons for use when creating a badge design. Toggle between Print Preview and Design Modes. Zoom in. Return to Normal Size. Zoom out. Toggle between front and back if double-sided badge. Cut. Copy. Paste. Delete. Clear current field type selection. Add a horizontal line. Add a rectangle. Add text field. Add database text. Add database number. Add database date. Add database barcode. Add database photograph. Add image. Add database signature. To the left of the window is a list of settings that can be altered for the currently selected component and the level of setting will differ depending on which component is selected. If you have selected a design component but decide you do not wish to use it, you can deselect it by clicking on the arrow button. When a component is selected, the process of applying the component to the badge is the same. For example, click on the Add Text button. The mouse pointer will change to have a small rectangle attached to it. Left click onto the badge to place the component. The settings of the currently selected component is displayed in the left window and can be added by by clicking directly on the component to select it or through the drop down menu in the left window. To reposition the component, move the mouse pointer over it then click and drag. In the case of components that display a number, text or date and also in the case of the signature component, there is a transparent setting. If this is selected, the field will have a transparent background instead of a rectangular box. If you right click on the component itself, you will be presented with a menu, which will allow you to perform standard edit functions that is cut, copy, paste and delete, as well as two extra functions, send to back and bring to front. These extra functions allow you to position components either in front or behind each other. You can also delete a component by clicking directly on it. The settings in left window will reflect the currently selected component and then clicking the red arrow button mark delete. You can change the name of the component if you have multiple components of the same type to help differentiate between them by changing the object name within the settings window. At any point, you can save the badge template by pressing the Save button. Changing the background color. The setting that can be altered for the background are displayed in the left window. To change the background color press the dot 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 button to the right of the fill color parameter. Choose a color from the selection available then click OK. A border can be specified on the badge including its roundness, width and color. Insert static text. Press the static text button in the toolbar and position the text field onto the badge. The settings in the window will reflect the currently selected component. Click on the text setting and a pop-up box will open to allow you to add the text you require, and click OK. You can change the way that the text is displayed by selecting the font setting for example font type, color and size. Insert static image. Press the image button in the toolbar. To specify the image to the component, select the image parameter from the settings, and then select a bitmap or JPEG from your PC. By default, the image will retain its aspect ratio if you stretch it by clicking and dragging a corner, but if you set the maintain aspect ratio parameter to false you can stretch the image without maintaining the ratio. Inserting database information that is text, number, date, barcode, photo, 
Signature Individual cardholders' data can be referenced from the Fusion database and be added onto the badge, which is extracted from the cardholder's personnel record. For example, click on the database text field and then proceed to add it to the badge. Click on Data Source Parameter, which will allow you to select a database text from the drop-down menu, for example employee name, department, vehicle registration, etc. The other database components work in the same way as the text component. Press the Database Photo button in the toolbar. When the badge is printed, the photo component will be replaced by the cardholder's actual photograph, defined within their personnel record. You can change the way that the photo is displayed by altering the parameters listed to the left of the screen, for example by setting border roundness to non-zero to round the corners. If the cardholder's personnel record does not contain any images including a signature, then nothing will be displayed. Print Preview At any point during the badge design process, you can toggle between Design Mode and Print Preview Mode by pressing the Print Preview button. In Print Preview Mode as long as at least one person in the Fusion database has been assigned this template, you can see how the badge will look with real data that is any database fields, including photo and signature fields. Navigator arrows are provided to allow you to step backwards or forwards, through all the people allocated this card template. Once you have created one or more card templates and allocated them to people within the Fusion database you will want to print some badges. Press the card print button from within card production and select from the options.